Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is September the 15th, 2020. Let's talk week two of the NFL. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let's talk about some games I like for week two, some picks I like. The line is moving away from us, right? It's moving away from us. I like the Atlanta Falcons getting four and a half. That's the current line over the Dallas Cowboys. The line used to be bigger, but it looks like the money is coming in on the Falcons. Let me say this. Dallas, of course, played on the West Coast. They're going to have to travel back home. They're 0-1. They need the win. But what I want people to do is to focus on the talent level on the Atlanta Falcons, right? Atlanta lost week one, very tough game. But let me say this, Todd Gurley looked magnificent in the first quarter. Magnificent. They're using him only about half of the time. But let's just say Gurley, when he has a full tank, can match... Ezekiel Elliott, right? Gurley still has the spring in his step. Gurley is still an above average running back. Let me point out too that Atlanta has the better set of wide receivers over the Dallas Cowboys, right? Julio Jones, big yardage, over 100 yards last week. Calvin Ridley, over 100 yards last week. You have a veteran quarterback in... Um, Matt Ryan, and you have more continuity than you have with the Dallas Cowboys, right? Mike McCarthy is a new coach. You're getting four and a half points, more than the field goal. I like the underdog, Atlanta Falcons over the Dallas Cowboys in Dallas. Next, I like Philadelphia getting a point at home. That's the current line over the Los Angeles Rams. Let's talk about the obvious. The Rams are a West Coast team, and this game is at 10 a.m. on the East Coast. The Rams are going to have to fly across the country for the early start. Also, Philly needs the win to keep up with Washington, although I will say they caught a break that Dallas lost week one, right? Ironically, to the Rams. Uh, and, of course, the Giants lost, but I don't expect the Giants to be in the running for the NFC East title this year. I think Philly is a better team than advertised. I understand they're banged up. I know they're going to have a hard time blocking Donald, but I do consider Carson Wentz to be, when healthy, one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League. I like Philly getting a point at home over the West Coast Rams. The next game is interesting. The New England Patriots at Seattle. I like the under 45 points here. First, let me just say, both teams have great defenses. Both. Jamal Adams on the Seattle Seahawks adds a dimension they didn't quite have before. He was a complete wrecking ball week one against Atlanta right I think you're looking at two of the league's best defenses I don't like the fact that Cam Newton is running as much as he ran week one I just don't I also think it's going to be difficult for New England to travel across country to Seattle and to be ready to play right I think that um just to travel from the East Coast all the way to Seattle is going to deplete the team in this COVID-19 era. It's also a late game, right? It's the 5 o'clock game next week, 5 o'clock West Coast time. It's your 8 o'clock, uh, 8 p.m., late game on the East Coast. So I think that's going to make for a playoff atmosphere. 
right? More defensive intensity. I like the under 45 points in that New England-Seattle game. Finally, I'm just going to play with the money line here. I like the Pittsburgh Steelers, right at a minus 280 over the Denver Broncos. The bottom line is that Drew Locke, to me, is too young for this Pittsburgh Steeler defense. Right? You just saw the Pittsburgh Steelers completely suffocate the New York Giants rushing game. Completely shut down Saquon Barkley. They held Daniel Jones, who is one of the better passing young quarterbacks, just like Drew Locke. They held Daniel Jones and the Giants to less than 20 points. Now, here we are with Philip Lindsay banged up with rookie wide receiver Jerry Judy dropping passes. You're going to ask a second-year quarterback to deal with this spectacular, that's what they are, Steeler secondary. I don't see it happening. Let me also point out, too, that Ben Roethlisberger is back in the saddle. He threw for three touchdowns against the Giants, right? I like the veteran leadership with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I like the defense with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I like the Steelers on a money line, minus 280 over the Denver Broncos. That's how I see it. Let me just add a few other caveats. You know, last preseason, Jimmy Garoppolo, quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers, had an incredibly poor start. Right? He's not a guy out the gate who does well. He looks like he needs a lot of reps, a lot of practice to be who he is. Now, when Jimmy's playing well, to me, he's one of the league's better quarterbacks. But he needs some preparation to get there. He looked absolutely confused and atrocious against the Arizona Cardinals in a home game, right? I think the 49ers are catching a break here because of the schedule. But let's just say they're not playing close to their capability right now. Right? They lost week one. Uh, the defense did have Kyler Murray confused for the first half of the game. Then they started to fall apart. Uh, the 49ers have some injuries at wide receiver. Uh, Jimmy was out of sync. That's something to keep an eye on. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments or your picks in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.